On the final day of the season, Huntsville City FC needed a miracle. They had a path to the playoffs, but they needed New York City and Philly to lose, though none of that would matter if they couldn't pick up a regulation win over Chicago Fire 2. And kicking off in front of a crowd of 4,000 at 1 o'clock, HCFC knew what was on the line in this one and did not waste any time. Nebu Perry with a grounder into the far corner, and that'll give the home squad the advantage, but it wouldn't stay 1-0 for long. Amari Glasgow pulls out his own skipper, and it's all even in the 10th minute. But this high-scoring first half was far from over, and Chicago would fire again 15 minutes later. Billy Hensey with the perfect redirect, and there's nothing Ben Martino can do to stop this one. Goal number two for Chicago fire two, and a hush falls over the Joe, though it wouldn't stay that way for too long. In the 36th minute, Jonathan Bolaños gives them a reason to cheer as he sends a curveball around the keeper to tie the game at two. Oh, it's great. It was, it's always a, a great feeling to score at home. In that moment, I think we really needed that goal as more of a mentality boost to tie the game up before coming into half. And we, we knew what the mentality was coming in. You know, score early if we can, get the win if possible, and, and move on, hopefully get a playoff spot. But in the second half, both squads posted a shutout, keeping the nets clean despite some serious scoring opportunities. When the whistle blew on regulation, HCFC's playoff dreams were officially crushed as all three legs of their trifecta failed. And this probably sums up our, our season. Lots of huffing and puffing, lots of effort, lots of really good moments within it, but when it really mattered, we just fell short slightly. Um, and look, Chicago are a good team. They're in the playoffs for a reason, so we knew it was going to be a challenge. Um, so, yeah, just a bit disappointed we couldn't give the fans a real high to kind of end the season and, and sign off in style. And though their fate was already sealed, the team still had to go out there for penalty kicks. Chicago netted four attempts and limited Huntsville to two as they end the season in a shootout loss, finishing four points below Philly for the final playoff spot. Unfortunately, we lost the, the honor of having it in our own hands um, with a couple of bad performances the previous weeks. So for us, it was about trying to take care of business here today. And once again, I don't think we can fault the work, fault the work rate or the effort or the, the lack of trying to do things well. It's, it's just for us, them, them key moments, we, we need to improve and make sure we're better at. We've just scratched the surface, I think. We've, we've, just, um, we've just started uncovering something that I think could be really special and hopefully in, in 12 months' time we're still there celebrating an incredible season looking forward to going into the end of season party where, where we're fancied to, to go and do something special. And even if HCFC had won this game, New York City and Philly both won, so their fate was already sealed. But they tell me that they're already looking forward to next year and hoping that that one finishes above the playoff line. Reporting live in Huntsville, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.